Hi everyone. Well, today I'm going to analyze and react to Queen Love of My Life from Montreal. I have seen Love of My Life performed live a bunch of times. I can't remember if I've seen the Montreal version. I probably have, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so that's why I'm kind of calling it an analysis as well. You know, Freddie Mercury is often regarded as the greatest rock singer of all time and one of the best, if not the best, rock performer of all time. And so we're going to watch this performance and analyze what made him so great, what made Queen such a great band. Uh, if you like this video and you like the content on my channel, make sure to subscribe. And a final note is that this video is for kind of educational purposes, so no copyright has been infringed upon, but do check out the original from the DVD, purchase that, and check out this uh, original from the YouTube version as well. Let's get into it. <laughs> So, so Brian May's playing a 12 string guitar there. That's what gives it that unique sound. It's clearly a more ballady song. They've presented the stage with stools to match the tone. Love of my life, you've hurt me. You've broken my heart and now you leave me. Beautiful. Love of my life. Can't you see? Bring it back, bring it back. Don't take it away from me because you don't know what it means to me. Beautiful. You see, the, cr the crowd is already singing along. Freddie, you could hear his dynamic control there. He was singing softly with breath. And then he'd add a little bit more, those top notes, he'd let them ring out more and then he'd bring it back in. He's sitting on that stool with his iconic half mic, just owning that platform. You see, at this point, it's I think it's 1981, this concert. So they've been going for over 10 years now. They're seasoned professionals and it just sounds gorgeous. Let's keep watching. I don't know it. Love of my life, don't leave me. Don't know what they were gesturing about there. <laughs> Stolen my love, you know, He had such love a great tone. Life, can't you see? Wow. Bring it back, bring it back. Don't take it away from me because you don't know what it means to me. Everything's all by the way. When I grow older, I will be there He's at a your side to remind you how I still love you. I still love you. I still love you. I still love you. Love you. You know, one of the brilliant things about what we're hearing is that Freddie was so good at presenting a beautiful tone. You know, Freddie didn't have vocal training and you can tell he's not technically doing everything correct, but he stayed in the moment and he presented this beautiful tone to his voice. Queen had a crazy schedule of touring. They would do nights and nights end on end and back up very quickly between their countries. They'd fly in, they'd fly out. They'd do long concerts. Their concerts would be a few hours long, not singing easy songs, singing queen songs. Throughout his career, he had lots of vocal ups and downs. He had nodules at one point. He ran into various troubles throughout his career. But the fact that no matter what, he would leave everything out on that stage. He didn't have all the technical tricks, but whenever he sung, it was just this golden voice that came out. And he was always spontaneous. He was always doing each performance differently. He was living in the moment, performing. You can hear those ad libs he was doing. Let's keep watching. Mm -hmm. 
Brian May is an excellent guitar player. It's quite hard to play a 12 string like that, finger picking. Very easy to make a mistake, but he's flawless. I've always never heard Brian May make a mistake. He is that good. that run <laughs> look at that girl she's just as I said earlier Freddie had this ability to bring out this rich beautiful tone and match the tone of his voice for whatever song or style he was singing you listen to Queen's repertoire and Freddie can sound almost like a different person on various tracks and in this song what he's doing brilliantly is He's swelling between a very rich, vibrant tone and this breathy, soft tone. And you'll notice that he's got this center point on the word me when he goes, what it means to me. It's, he's got a bit of a wide spread. He keeps his jaw together and he goes, me. So it's got this almost falsetto undertone and then he swells. So um, again, you don't know. He did this thing with his jaw, nah, and then extra breath, what it means to me. Now, I don't sing like it, and I'm not trying to sound like him there, by the way. What I'm trying to do is show you is that he had this unique technique, and he was able to bring breath out and create this vibrant richness. Let's watch what I'm talking about. You don't know Hear that? What it means watch his mouth. Me. me, and he leans back teeth and but that soft almost falsetto center he had this brilliant ability to bring these tones into his voice that no one else really did and i want to listen to that final run that he did again he 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 does this note where he says the word yeah and he just allows his voice just to resonate into that auditorium resonate into that concert hall and then he does this run listen carefully he hits a lot of notes on that run all the way down to a low range, and every note is spot on pitch wise. Let's listen to that. Love of my life. Ooh. Yeah. Thank you. Turn that go again. Freddie really was a master. He wasn't as technically perfect as some singers and live he'd often have off nights with his voice. But Freddie Mercury, the talent that that guy possessed, the showmanship, the stage presence. Remember, he wrote all these songs too. He was an absolute once in a generation performer, a once in a generation singer. He's the type of guy who really had no limits. If he'd wanted to and if he'd trained his voice, who knows what he could have what direction he could have gone with, but he chose rather than becoming a technical singer. And, and he talks about this in interviews. He intentionally chose to stay raw and to stay centered on, on raw rock singing and taking a songwriter's approach. He didn't want to be perfect. He wanted to be a raw songwriter who brought out different tones and who performed them. And he did that. He was, and that's why he's considered the greatest of all time. So uh, phenomenal performance. I'll probably react to some more Queen in the future. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.